Hola amigos, it is I, El Presidente Quill18, back with some more Tropico 6. I just did, well, did and failed to do, really, the uh, referendum mission um, over here in Tropico 6 afterwards. And I, I was trying to avoid spoilers, right? So afterwards, I went and looked up what people were talking about with the referendum, like, what's the trick? A lot of people talking about how this is probably one of the hardest missions. Looks like the thing to do is probably to get the Coliseum as early as possible. So you only have to work on two things for happiness. But it's still, like, a big, a pain. <laughs> looks like it's going to be a big pain in the ass to get the... Um, the um, the factions. But in any case, what I want to do is I want to play in sandbox mode today. I want to do that. I want to set the political difficulty to aggressive, the opposition difficulty to strong. Um, a large island with high landmass is probably okay. I don't know. I guess leave the rest the way it is? Sure. I don't know. Fine. So we're gonna start. This is just. Oh, oh! Did I set a did I set a victory condition? I don't remember. Well, I guess we're gonna find out in a second. I don't remember if it saved my victory condition from last time, which is just a quarter of a million dollars in the Swiss bank account is what I want. There, perfect, excellent. That's exactly what I want over there. I like this goal because the thing with the Swiss bank account money. Well, the other thing would be like maybe population, but that's not something you can set. You know, if we set like a thousand population as a goal, that would be something. The Swiss bank account money is interesting because. Accumulating Swiss bank account money isn't something that's necessarily helpful. Um, yeah, you can do some broker things, but that, that's spending it, right? Actually, just having Swiss money doesn't do anything for you. Except it feels cool and very thematic for Tropico, and as a goal for victory, it kind of makes sense, because, you, you know, it's something that'll make things a little bit harder for you. So, we've got our little start. We've got... Okay, we've got four islands. Now, we won't be able to build the highways across to these for a while, but... That's going to be okay. That might be what we do. There's a pretty big distance from here to here. I don't know if it's so far we can't bridge. We may actually have to get boat service off our starter island, but these three other islands can be connected by roads, which tends to be pretty good for flow. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to figure out, first of all, ways to make money, because we need to no not go bankrupt. Then after that, we have to babysit our mandate and then make sure we've got enough revolutionaries who are interested in flipping over. If we were to go, first of all, let's check out the mining situation. We've got two patches of gold and two patches of coal, which is very interesting. Um, I mean, the coal's not worth that much, but it's still going to be a good initial kickstart to our economy. The gold, of course, is worth quite a bit. Okay. First of all, I think we can probably assume we're going to build roads around our palace. Here. I think I might be able to double up on the gold here. I'm trying to figure out if there's like a road path that makes sense. No, I think I think the gold mine is gonna lead to a slightly wonky road regardless. So we'll just accept it. You're gonna be connected that way, and then we'll do something like that. So it's gonna be a little bit out of whack, but that's just gonna wait. It's gonna have to be. Oh, we also have to extend the road so that it actually connects up to um our dock. Otherwise, things are going to be quite poor. Let's bring the speed up. It's a couple of gold mines. Um, hopefully, yeah, there's a gold export route. We'll probably get missions to complete these. I, the first one, I'm going to go for the max over here. Because we're going to want maximum value from exporting the gold. Plus, it'll give us the crown boost, which will make future routes slightly more attractive. Now, I'm running with a lot of DLC that I actually haven't really played with because we didn't have it before. Okay, we got plenty of unemployed citizens, so they will get work there. That's going to be okay. We've got some ranches for some early food. Although, if we can get, um... I like the fishing wharves. Uh... Not... The fishing spots aren't terribly close to our current building area. What kind of, um, farming might we be able to do? I mean, first of all, if we can get corn for food, that's something. But we could go for money crops. The thing is, we can eat bananas, we can eat pineapples, we can also sell them for decent money. This actually looks like a decent banana plantation over here. 97% efficiency. Let's do it. And, okay, we don't have a banana export route, which is too bad. And then this road is going to be going that way, which is going to be great. I don't have to build it right now. Now, we still have lots of unemployed citizens, so really we want to keep, actually, we do want to keep developing our business as much as possible. Oh, sugar! 
That's only 77%. 89. 89 over here. 85. There's a couple of missing spots, but I think it's worth it. We're going to go into the rum business is what we're going to do. Corruption is so rife, Governor, that we have Revolutionaries to want a pirate cove. That sounds fine. So we need a certain percentage of our people to be revolutionaries so that we can advance to the next era. I don't know if that's going to connect. Okay, that will connect. Looks a little bit wonky, but that's going to be okay. All right. So yeah, we want to... The thing is, we want a population increase as quickly as possible um, early on because we want lots of workers for various work sites, and we need revolutionaries so that people actually flip. Now, this road position's a little awkward, but we can fit some buildings in there. So, find something like that because it'll line up this way. I wanted it as a bit of a guide. We can build some housing over there. Although I don't tend to build a lot of the housing in the colonial era because generally speaking, the approval of the revolutionary is fairly easy to get. Um, and um, we can get better housing options in the second era. Depends, sometimes we get missions Our to build things. Is as yet only marginally Bam. Glorious. Revolutionary immigrants, yes, please. And okay, we can start some raids. Now, a lot of times I do like to do these rescues to get population, but right now, there's, they're not necessarily going to be revolutionaries, and they might dilute the number uh, of revolutionaries we've got. So I don't think I want to do these rescues right now. Um, I'm not going to heist a wonder yet, because they're fairly expensive. What I'll do is I'll do a treasure hunt. We might get money. We might get more raid points. We'll do that. The looting ones, we might get missions for loots, but I'll queue up two treasure hunts, because it'll be useful. Um, in terms of research, we're going to prioritize... There's nothing really we actually have to rush here. I think we'll just queue up whatever. And then we'll build a library at some point. I don't need to rush it, because um, none of the research is something that we critically require at this time. We might get a mission for a library, though. In which case, well, then we will do it. All right. Let's kick start time again. We have 89 population. Boats ready to come in and out. We've got a few cash crops ready to go. Plus, you know, a little bit of extra maybe food happiness is going to be a thing. Um, our farms are up. We have nine unemployed citizens. The first sugar harvest isn't in yet. But it might be a decent idea to get the rum distillery plan. Now, can I fit it in here? I think I can without blowing up anything. It's fairly skinny, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Good. Okay. So, we'll get that started. Now, our Teamsters, ah, we can't second shift. I can add, yeah, I can add more hands to the construction office in this era, but we are going to need a second Teamsters office relatively soon, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't suppose we've got, uh, ooh, okay, hold on. We can do a rum trade route. Let's get that set up. And then if we get a mission from the crown to do an export, we can do a really short corn report one. That some foul blight has well, in on our thanks, game. Fair winds. That's oh. super duper appreciated. Ugh. I ask myself, Governor, do the you ends circus. just... All right, well, we'll see what we can do. The other thing is we're going to get pirate attacks, which I don't think used to be something in just vanilla Tropico, but pirate attacks are going to start to be a thing. So we're going to need military a little sooner than usual. Although, the other thing I can do is just make sure... You know what? Let's do this. More guards at the palace. Oh, as I say, pirate attacks right there. Um, we'll have a few more guards to fight back. I think what I might do is I will go and build in this little awkward area. I'm going to like four little guard towers. To be ready to defend. I'm going to get a second one here. Because hopefully what they'll do is they'll blow up the pirates fast enough. Palace guards are going to come out and defend us at some point too. Attackers have been defended. Good. So we got four towers. It's next to the palace. It's also going to defend our gold mines, which I think is going to be pretty high value. Later on, they can move watchtowers. We might want a fort as well. Planks going down. Shellfish going up. Quite right, Governor. So there we go. So our revolutionaries are going to like us. That's not going to be a problem. We just mostly need... We need 60% of our people to be revolutionaries, which means we have to keep doing the uh, revolutionary missions. Now, we could pull the, um, a circus down here. Let me just check the sort of crop situation in that area. Is there a good... 
Wouldn't be bad for tobacco. Pineapple would be okay. Coffee would be okay. It looks to me like this location just next to the palace. Oh, hold on. Was there a mineable spot over there? Was there coal? Yeah, so I don't actually want to farm here. Um, I just have to remember there's coal there. All right, I'll, you know what? I'll just put down a circus over here. I realize that, you know, it'll be overlapping some things, but not too many. That would leave us enough room for a clinic and still have a good block shape, which seems okay. I mean, we don't build clinics now, right? That's not even an option. That's going to be next era. But yeah, we can put a clinic right in there, and that wouldn't be too bad. So we'll get a circus, which, I mean, will provide entertainment happiness for the entire game, because we'll probably leave the circus there, I suspect. But also, yeah, we need to do these missions for the revolutionaries, so we get more revolutionaries. Our revolution is as yet and that's only... the only button I want to hit from her. Raids are ratifying. You know what I'll probably do, actually, is I... Uh... I will shift click the rate, the treasure hunts, so they go on forever. We can insert other things, but they're pretty useful. So there, we're at fifty percent of revolutionaries. Again, we need to get up to sixty percent. How's your employment? Okay, we've got a few unemployed people, not many though. So we could go and build. Maybe we could consider building the coal. Okay, the blight has ended, so our crops are going to start working again. So that's good. You're waiting for sugar over here. You do have some rum, which is nice. Any upgrades we can do? Yeah, may as well decrease sugar consumption. And for the sugar plantations, nothing I can run at this time. What is this? Oh, we have banana. And nothing I can do over there. Okay. I mean, we can do some funky um, farm and ranch designs to maximize bonuses. Uh, last time I think we played... Have a request. Yes, let's do this, and we will schedule... I'm going to cancel you. We will schedule a loot of some kind. Um, I don't think it matters. I don't know, maybe more sugar so we can turn it to rum. And then there you go, we'll shift click, click this again. Um, I think last time we played, the range of, like, the fertility boost with, like, the ranches and the farms... Uh, oh, and the, um, uh, the multiculture, I think, used to still be map-wide. They have fixed that now. It's no longer map-wide. Uh, which makes, you know, maximize that a little trickier. But we do have a, a, a map that's sort of flat enough it's not too bad. Um, you know, whether or not there's enough fertility in places to make it worthwhile, we will see. How much actual farming boost we want to do, I don't know. The treasure hunt just got us more raid points, which mostly means the next raid will start right away. Um, it's not great, but it's not the worst. Actually, of the things you could hit, it might literally be the worst, other than maybe a really cheap blueprint. So it's not ideal. It's sort of the consolation prize here. You get raid points back. I think it costs 2,000 to start this raid. So you get more raid points overall. But unless we had multiple raiding buildings so that we can run multiple raids simultaneously, we don't really need to generate the points like that. Shellfish no longer trending. That's okay. I would like to get our fishing plants up at some point. How's the employment? Six unemployed citizens. Okay, it's not so bad. You've got lots of sugar. We could probably build a second rum distillery, actually. We have three sugar farms, right? The sugar, sugar, and then the other one over here. And if we've got the discount, you know what? I think we can, and I think it's probably worth doing. Right over here. We have to make sure to give it the, uh, the dunder still at some point. Pirates are attacking again. They're going to come over here. They're going to walk by right by our towers. Rum export mission completed. Uh, I mean, we could take the sugar export, because we might be exporting some and not turning everything into rum. These are pretty lame, though. I mean, just not run anything quite yet. We'll see what kind of mission we get, and then we'll we'll play it at that point. But yeah, I'm betting these pirates are just going to get obliterated by the turrets. And dead. Perfect. Absolutely Perfect. Well, depending on how much defenses we set up, we might be able to defend against the crown. We'll probably just buy them off, because I think our economy is going to be really good. Yeah, so you're waiting for a sugar delivery, which is going to be okay. I suspect we could probably make do with a second um, Teamster's office right away. Although we don't really have the citizens for it. Only three unemployed people. But fairly soon. And yeah, we still haven't built any housing. Again, we might get missions for it. But mostly, I'm not going to concern myself until... Because the next era, we unlock apartments. 
10 minutes come later, which is too bad because they're really space efficient. So I guess we will need some baseline buildings, but we'll see. So we haven't done a mandate extension yet. Hopefully we get a mission from the governor or the um, the crown soon. Because it's basically impossible. It, it's, it is possible, but it's fairly unlikely that we can finish this era without a mandate extension. How come we haven't gotten a mission yet? We're about to get the warning that our mandate's starting to run low. Yeah, told you. A year and a half. You get the warning. Um, hmm. Okay, now we're starting to loot, which is good. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I forgot there was an extra thing in the queue I could have cancelled, but that's fine-ish. Uh, seriously, the crown. Aren't you tired of life? Food to the people is really good, you know? Food quality, yeah, the capitalists get upset, but the, the communists like it. Um, as this levels up, I think the food quality bonus will go up to, all the way up to 15. And Manator Siesta I like as well, because job quality keeps people happier. Decreased pollution, which is nice. You do take an efficiency hit, but as it levels up, it goes, um, the, the efficiency hit goes down to 8%. And that's not so bad. And we do have, you know, hard mode for polit uh, political stuff, so... Um, it might be pretty useful for us to, uh, to keep people as happy as possible. No unemployed citizens. We need to, like, kick out the, um... What kind of stuff can we do to people right now in this era? Are you lost? We can't just arbitrarily kill people. So, I mean, we could just start bopping off loyalists so that our percentages get fixed. But as soon as the loot job finishes which theoretically is going to be soon. Hopefully. We might have enough revolutionaries as a percentage. I don't know. We just got some more people in the freighters. Um, seriously, the crown. Why am I not getting a mission from you? Um... I'm gonna do a super cheap wool import because it'll increase the at least the mood of the crown. I don't know if that's gonna affect the mission. I don't think so. Um. Uh. What game? <laughs> what are you doing to me, game? We should have gotten like several crown missions by now. Usually, do an export route. We're just going to lose because the crown never gave us a mission. So we never had an ability to increase our, our mandate. I've never seen this before. I mean, maybe we can, if we can finish the loot and get a boat just in time. Let me increase this because it'll increase the speed at which we get our next cargo ship. This raid's nearly finishing. We're 58. I don't know why we're getting more revolutionaries. Maybe people are converting over. Okay. Mostly we're going to be super reliant on this ship. Oh shit, the timing, the timing, the timing, the timing. Our revolution is... Boom, 10 migrants. Did it count? I think it did. Pause. The yes. people of Tropical love oh. almost as much... Oh my god! <laughs> wow, game. This I, game was trying I, to make I us lose. Joy as I greet my fearless leader for the first time. As El Pr You're listening to Canal okay. Uno. The <laughs> Sorry, I'm freaking out here. Um, let me just set some uh, some reasonable defaults. Oh, professional all. soldiers. That's going to be cool. Um, wow. I don't know if we've ever made it to the next stage without doing a mandate extension. <laughs> but Because usually you do at least a couple, maybe three, you know, just to play it safe. Um, wow, that was insane. But we just barely snuck in with a revolutionary. Luckily, the, the loot happened or finished just in time. Let's go back to normal prices over here. Um, set up some trade routes, uh, some cigars you know, to, to the axis. Well, we'll do a maximum, or sorry, it's not cigars we're making, it's rum we're making. Rum, 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 rum. Seriously? This is an import of rum, but we don't want to import rum. Okay, well, we're gonna need to diversify our economy. But we did make it to the next era. That much is good, at least. 
Um, we are going to start having to work on our housing and various happiness things because we're going to need to do some elections. We're also going to want people to not die from disease. We've got a little bit of money. Let's get a clinic. Oh, there's room for... Oh, no, no. I did calculate that correctly. Let me get that. I would also like to start getting some education, especially if our soldiers need high school education. It might pay off to get our high school started as early as possible. That's fairly expensive, though. How many employed do we have? Not very many. Maybe we don't need to kickstart the economy exactly. Now, housing, it might be worth... Okay. Yeah, the building permit edict we kind of need to get going. Did we ever build a library on this game? No, we didn't. I queued up the research, but we don't actually have a library. Okay. Well, we need a library for some tech. It's definitely time. Perfect. We can fit you in there, and we can have Anne Road going somewhere over here. I guess I won't build it yet. The support is still relatively good. That's going to start changing because there's not enough of, well, anything. Um, I need to unlock the audience, actually. It's probably the first thing we're going to unlock. Let me cancel all this. We're going to unlock audience so that we can, we can trigger this for demand from our crankiest factions. And then probably literacy program. And then we probably want a building permit as early as possible so we can start boosting the Swiss bank account. I don't necessarily do it immediately because um, it takes money away from our regular treasure, right? It makes all our buildings more expensive, and some of that we funnel to our Swiss bank account. So until we've got our, our island's economy up, we may not be able to support it, but we're actually not doing so bad here. I feel like we've got some good trade potential happening. We've got a bit of an industry with our rum distillery, which is good. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on their uh, inputs here. The sugar's going down currently. We may need more sugar farms. Can we build more plantations? sugar plantations on this starting island. Okay, there's a nice green area over there, which is good. A little bit more over there, potentially. But yes, the answer is yes, we can have a stupid amount of sugar production and basically just become rum barons, which pleases me greatly. There's still a uh, coal mine we want to build over there. We did just get a freighter, I think, with more people. No, nope, that one must have been the last freighter. Although this one's coming in now. I did bring in a few more people, so that'll be more jobs. Although, okay, clinic. We actually, I'm going to hire a couple of foreign educated college workers. And I'm going to hire some foreign educated high school workers for the library as well for the next boat. Should have, I should have clicked it before this one came in. So we just want to get those buildings running. Seriously, why aren't we not getting demands from like all kinds of factions here? Is there a glitch? Rockets. The newest threat raining death from the skies. Oh. The palace assures all its citizens that no country thinks Tropico is worth sending rockets against. I will Your definitely increase healthcare happiness. It's me, way down low right now. To think that you would stoop to negotiations with me. A uh, we've got a clinic building, so that is going to help. There we go. We can improve the service quality as well. Oh, right. It's a new era. Well, electricity, I don't think we're going to have quite yet. Let's get canaries in all of our mines. It was a control click. The banana plantation. Yeah, we'll go ahead and increase the job quality as well. Oh, and the Teamsters office can have the second shift. There we go. So we may not have to worry about building a second actual Teamsters office at the moment. Did we add the extra guard positions? We did. Okay. At the palace, which will hopefully be enough to keep us safe for a little bit. Healthcare happiness should be going up now that we actually have doctors around. Quick, Presidente, we must choose a side in so this So we need to set a couple of either the Allies or the Axis. We will see what we can do. But that is going to have to wait for a little bit. All right. Um, let's get a high school started. This way. Presidente, oh. you look bored. So the Axis so have come have first. They underling? want us to import. Well, we'll see. We will see. I'm going to build an apartment because it'll fit perfectly right behind here. That'll... Some people will go there. The apartments, not everyone's going to necessarily have money, but it's going to be a start Presidente, for a little bit of housing. I am inspired. I the have... communists want us to have a prison. Well, I don't mind that because I think we're going to have to do a lot of arresting because of our difficulty settings, which sounds like a good time to me. My prisoners may not agree. But, you know, the beatings will continue until morale improves. 
etc etc let's let this complete first now these some of these things aren't things that are boosting our economy here so we have to be a little bit careful with our inputs we've got a little bit of rebel threat raid complete which is going to help us with some tech as well you know it's unlocking some tech trade routes um and yeah you want an import trade route i mean maybe so i mean we get we can import coconut and milk at a base cost so i don't know we'll we'll import a minimum amount of coconuts because we could always turn around and sell it or maybe our population will eat it and then we'll be selling other things you know all in all it's okay we actually i don't know about our food situation here um let me check food death by starvation zero uh i mean food happiness it'd be nice to know like what our food kind of balance situation is we need it we need a chapel soon too Well, that's a protest, but we're still... This is the one we're still working on, right? No, is this a new one? Oh, Faith Supreme Happiness. Yeah, okay. Leadership's... Which we will get to working on. Okay, hold on. First, so what is this? Public services. Um, let's ignore the chapel. Let's go straight for the church. We can build it here. And actually, it's a good place, a good spacing for another... Oh, hold on. Nope. I have to... Atomic bombs. Fact or fiction? Tropic inside oh, well, to say... From the other we side. don't understand the physics. Palace says, try harder. We don't understand the physics. So we'll build a church, which will provide some faith happiness. Hopefully enough. Mandatory siesta going up. That's good. Trade routes are happening. I still want prison as well. I mean, I guess I'll, uh, let me extend that out slightly and then do that. This 2x2 two two area might be a little awkward. I don't know what we can put in there. Maybe a restaurant. Maybe we'll wait until we've got a uh, demand for fun happiness. Our support is still pretty good. High school. Work. Well, we do have a high school. It is operating. And we do have a worker, so at least the church is going to happen, which should help to actually generate some faith happiness. How's our unemployment situation? It's zero unemployed, so we're still looking for some uh, immigrants. Do we have a customs office? Or sorry, not customs, immigration office. We do. And we can have that going on now. That seems like a huge win. I always like to put the customs office near the dock, just because thematically it makes sense. It makes no difference, and in fact, there might be better things have to put here, but I have to. President Day? Capital like a mansion. Is the mansion two by two? No, I think it's two by one. I don't remember. It is two by two. Oh, it's two by three, in fact. Hmm. Well, I guess it fits there. They might not be happy being next to the gold mine. Or maybe they will be, because it'll be easier to do some, like, Scrooge McDuckian dives into the big pile of money. I didn't realize there's a one gapper over here. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to throw down a tavern in there right away to start off with. We could fit another clinic or more taverns or just a bunch of statues. We will see. We'll get that down. It'll please them. We still need to get a prison. Faith happiness. People are starting to come in here. Oh, let's do the pompous bells so they don't have to spend as much time there. It'll help cycle people in and out and make sure they don't spend too much time away from work, which is all very good. Freighter bringing in some decent money. We are adding a lot of services, so these are things that are increasing our expenses without increasing our economy. Pleasure doing business with you, Presidente. Um, I think right now we're going to take the money. Right now our support's still pretty good. So, whenever there'll be an election, we do okay currently. You're waiting for sugar. Mm-hmm. Now, are any of these loaded with sugar? And the answer is very much no. So, it's not a Teamster shortage, although you just got some delivery and then you're out again. Yeah. Um, and you're pretty low, too. So, really, we need more sugar uh, generation. Why do they keep protesting here? I will promise to raise faith happiness by zero. Oh, I think that's that's the same protest over here. 
And I guess it's rounding down. It's like probably, we probably got like 0.5 to go or something. Next time someone goes to church, they're going to be fine. There we go, 27. Still rounding errors. That gun completed. Lovely. Now, is there still a product of protest? Just by leadership. We will see. It might rise on, on its own here. We can also increase the service and things, but I suspect people are just going to keep going to church and it's going to end up being fine. Everyone has friends, right, Prez? And it's right to help friends, right? Okay. The broker. Now, we can abandon his job without any penalty. He's asking for us to produce nickel. The thing is, I don't think we have nickel on our starting island. That's not true. We do have nickel on our starting island. Oh, I didn't realize we had a little mineable area over here. There's no time limit on that. I, he might use up one of the slots and limit things. Okay, we completed an import route with the axis. I understand our request. We need more been... immigrants for to run our jobs here. Exports. I mean, we'd produce sugar, but we want to turn it all into rum, so we're not really looking to export that. Um, maybe we'll we'll set up a nickel export. And usually for these, I want to go max out because um, you can see the the penalty, the reputation penalty, goes from minus two to minus three, so it doesn't really change. But the the reputation gain goes from plus five and plus five, so ten total, to a total of twenty. So we'll go ahead and run that. Um, a listener wrote asking. How can I help El President? We are going to get some more immigrants in a second. We sort of got a double double business the on the next nickel. Election. Something like that. The wants of housing nearby. I don't think we have a grocer yet, which actually would be pretty useful for us. It's public service, yeah. Let's get a grocer. Is that? I don't know what we're going to fit in that building slot. That fits okay over here, though. So let's do that. Faith happiness continues to rise. I think we're going to be fine. I think people are going to get very satisfied faith-wise as they keep cycling through here. Yeah, and, and we're just going to hit that goal. The protests will stop, and that's going to be great. Still no unemployment, although, you know... Uh, oh, however, we have an immigration office now. We've got two workers. We've got open doors, which is going to increase immigrants, which is good. I mean, we can increase skilled immigration and things, but... I mean, we've got a high school, so hopefully people will get themselves educated quickly enough. Nickel mines are up. We'll get canaries over here. We don't actually have a fire station set up, so hopefully nothing happens, but we've got some cash. We can do an emergency quick build should it pop up. They call me. Would any of these be of interest yeah, to you? I don't have any Swiss bank account money yet, although once we produce nickel, we'll get that. And then we're also selling it at a slight premium, which is good. Boom. Faith happiness completed. Okay, so... Prison. That's expensive blueprint. Um, since it's not timed, we might just wait for the... Maybe we'll get a blueprint from a raid. We keep we keep running those. Or, hold on, over here. Um, we keep doing these. They can unlock blueprints. They can give us tons of money. So we'll just keep doing that for now. What I might want to do is, like, manually unlock any cheap blueprints. You know, so we don't get those in the raid. But, I mean, the cheap ones are still going to be a 1,000. 900 over there. I mean, it'll suck if we hit those, but I kind of don't want to spend the 1,000 either. I don't know. If we had more money sitting around here, I might just go ahead and unlock all the cheapos. You're waiting for a food delivery. Now that we've expanded over here, because if I recall correctly, I'm just thinking food, there was a fishing spot over here. Actually, there's a couple. Now, without people having cars, we don't... Do we have buses? Is that a thing we can do right now? okay parking decks although a lot of our people won't be able to afford it but the bus garages are actually seem like a pretty strong idea we will need some employees for that but we can get one here we can tuck one in over here because there's the hill there that might impose problems for some of this um and there was a mine over here right if i put it there it, it doesn't block any roads but then I can't double up on the coal mine. That's still, that might be okay. In any case, I think that might be a good place for another bus garage. 
right here, which won't block the road, and actually will leave us enough room for maybe a tavern over there, or a second clinic. For this Everyone has to do their bit for the war. If it's all they want me to all. import from the allies. Why do they keep wanting imports? That's really annoying. All right, allies, import of rum seems kind of backwards, although we can get it at a slight discount. Well, it's not going to boost our relations either. I guess the imports don't really do that. Um, okay, and that's Axis. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. And I mean, completing the missions is going to be useful for the Indians. think it's worth it. The war. And again, we can just turn around and sell the rum. Which side um, we are and I mean, on. it takes a little bit of time. So it hits our bank account temporarily, but we'll get the money back from turning around and, and selling the rum immediately. I mean, potentially more so, depending on our trade route situation. Yeah, I really want some more citizens. Research is happening. It's slow, but it's happening. What we'll do is we'll pop a few of these. Actually, if we do get our prison up, we can do penal colony tricks. Which is kind of nice. Oh, let's increase the efficiency of our library, please. I also really like the uncensored portfolio for liberty, but right now we need the uh, tech generation from this. Ah, that treasure hunt didn't really do anything. Just generated raid points. We could... We can do commandos now. Generate more raid points. Run more things simultaneously. Actually, might not be a terrible idea. Rebel threat decreased to none. We do have it on super high modes. It's actually pretty impressive. Actually, I just looked at time. What a great place for us to put in a cut. Um, we are in the World War era. Uh, we're still on our little starting island out of all this, but the economy is going fairly well. I say as we've gone negative here, but um, our economy is actually not in terrible, uh, terrible states. Uh, we've got 10,000 bucks waiting for the next trade. Well, 9,100 right now. Um, so we should be able to bounce back. We've built some more industry. Mostly the problem is we have, uh, what's well, a zero vacant jobs? I don't know if that's accurate. That might be, actually, surprisingly. That might go to some vacant jobs relatively shortly. But we actually, as it turns out, our buildings are working pretty efficiently, which is nice, considering we're doing the expansion. And yeah, this is annoyingly far away from everything else. Uh, although the uh, bus garages will help. Should I just boost them? Actually, might not be a bad idea. Now, I don't remember if the bus garages um, travel. Buses will transport passengers between both stops. Oh, right! You have to put down the stops. I don't know if I need three. I forgot you set these up manually. Well, let's deal with that next time. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you then. Bye-bye.